And so as construction continues in the zoo, we're back for a brand new episode of our city zoo build, Tropical Wings Zoo. And so my friends, we are gonna jump straight into today's episode. We're actually gonna start where we kind of finished off last episode when I was talking about what was gonna happen going forward where Adventure Africa was concerned in Tropical Wings. I will link that episode above for you, my friends, in case you wanna go and catch up on it, take a look and see what the plan is going forward for the project. Now, I have been hard at work and I'm gonna to bring to you my first work in progress kind of update on the build. What I was gonna do, gang, when I first thought about Adventure Africa was I was gonna completely rebuild the bit that was already there and then present that as an episode and then we were gonna move forward. But actually what I'm gonna do is every time that I feel like I've got a bit that's finished or semi-finished, I'm gonna to come to the channel and bring you a work in progress or an update on what's been happening basically. I think that's probably gonna work best because otherwise, we could go weeks at a time uh, between episodes and I really don't want to do that. I've been saying for a while, I really want to try and get an episode out a week where Tropical Wings is concerned. So we're going to dive in and I'm going to show you basically what I've been up to um, since we last spoke about Tropical Wings. Now, first and foremost is the tunnel is pretty much finished. Um, I've got all the planting to do in the surrounding area. I've not done that yet because um, basically I want to, I want to leave an empty shell where a lot of the planting is concerned unless I'm actually actively working on an area. Um, the reason for that is that I'm going with a very, very particular look in this zoo now, especially in the neutral areas. And so, um, because this is going to be a gateway into the Adventure Africa area, I don't know whether to change the planting up ever so slightly. Um, so you kind of feel like there is that change in the zoo. Each area is gonna kind of have some distinct plants that are used. I haven't used any yet in Adventure Africa, but we are gonna to get to that um, eventually. The reason I haven't is it's quite a dry and arid um, hab basically that I've kind of worked on for this one. But yeah, as you can see, look, it's really looking nice. The, um, the tunnel now really changed it all up, um, getting all the grates in. We've got our little bits here for some planting. We could even go a bit neater if we wanted to on those gravel sections. And I plan to have some planting here as well, potentially gonna put some trellis and have some ivy growing on the walls as well. I think that would be really, really nice. I think it'd be a nice touch. Now, this is where I've been really hard at work. I've actually finally kind of done the inside of the tunnel. It's very, very, very different to what it was before. Trust me, if you were to go back to the episodes when we built the initial tunnel, um, this looks so much better. It just looks neater. It feels a bit more... Uh, for what I was going for, I've used that limestone piece as well that I uh, all of a sudden it's become a real favourite of mine. It really, really has. And I've kind of used that piece to kind of uh, to build this tunnel uh, up. Obviously, we've got our lights uh, on the ceiling and then I've done these benches. There are actually seats, um, sit, uh, you know, sunk into these bits here. And then I'm going to go along and do sort of all these little advertising hoardings um, kind of along here, kind of directions to certain things. So like this one, for instance, Primates of Africa is that way. And then this is kind of like a showtime uh, timetable. And then, you know, we're going to do more on the others. I haven't done them yet. It was just kind of using that as a, as a ways to see what it looked like. If you're wondering why there's an abundance of cleaners um i've been having to like throw animals into the hab um to uh make sure that it all worked and whatever and uh for today obviously we're going to be taking a really good look at the warthogs and they're all back in their hab because their hab is um essentially finished basically um so yeah as you can see i've got all of the other side done as well now um we didn't have this done last episode i was still kind of working on it but yeah the Symmetry, symmetry, it's it's there, it really, really is. It, it, it's so much neater now, it, it's so much neater. Um, what you will see though, is that none of the gates are kind of done this side because lots of things have been ripped out and um, you know we're gonna kind of be working on that and until it's kind of built, there's no point putting you know fences and whatnot in because it would just look a bit strange and I might have to rip them out at a later date. And I think that's something you need to think about where today's episode is concerned as well, where planting is concerned. There's areas where I haven't completed the planting because I kind of feel like if I'm gonna rip areas out, I could have to redo it and it's just time wasted basically. So yeah, it's just better off kind of holding back. Now, one thing I have kept is these banners i absolutely love these um, there is a tutorial on the channel if you're new um, on how to make these 
feel free to go and give it a, a look if uh, if you want to learn how to do this yourself. But yeah, I'm absolutely in love with these. So I have left these here. We have had to obviously move and jig this about because this is a lot thinner than it used to be. This used to be way too big. Um, but yeah, it's a lot thinner. We had to move the shop back ever so slightly. That shop ain't changed much, to be honest with you. Um, I've got to add some details on the roof. But other than that, that's pretty much as it was. But let me have a little zoom out so you can kind of see what's going on, gang. Um, this is all gone now. It's all been ripped out. And you will see that the hyena house is all the way up the end. We're going to use that, reuse that when we do build the hyenas. I've just got to basically tidy it up, tidy it up um, upgrade it, um, you know, just make it look a bit better, basically. But, yeah, we're going to use that. If you're wondering what these trees are, it I, I always make like um, I always make like a... Oh, I don't know what the word is. If you if you were using colours, like when I'm doing my graphic design, I have colour charts. Well, essentially, I do the same in this game with pieces and plants and stuff, and I keep them all nearby so that I can keep going back um, so that I know what plants we're going to basically be using sort of in the area. That's, that's essentially kind of um, how I do it. It's my plant palette, I guess you could call it. Um, so, yeah, we've ripped all this out. It's gone. It completely, you know, um, all the fences, everything. It's a big old landmass. Now... This was going to be the first thing I worked on, decided against it because I'm still I'm in an iron whether or not to do the uh, pygmy hippos or whether to do the oryx. Um, you know, I really feel like the pygmy hippo would look great in here, but at the same time, I took on board a lot of your comments about it being a bit more tropical. And I've got to be honest with you, I do kind of agree with the points that you're making. And I'm so, I'm leaning towards, you know, maybe putting another animal in here. Really not sure. Really, really not sure. But the area is done. There's one little random plant here. It was over here, but it, it was too big. So <laughs> that's why that's there. Now, as you can see, the warthogs over in the distance. Um, we have gone really theme heavy on this one. Now... Um, I was having a little sort of chat with um, Caesar uh, regarding um, the the stalacite um, rock, uh, basically. He'd kind of posted on Twitter his emu hab that came out a few days. If you're not checked it out, go and have a look at it. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. And I've got to be honest with you, I kind of... Um, I have so much envy all the time, every time I look at one of uh, Caesar's habs, because they're just so beautiful. They really, really are. And um, he'd kind of been doing this kind of rock design for a while, I'd noticed on all of his videos, and I was like, I've got to give that a go. And um, I've done it, basically. I've given it a go. It just isn't where Caesar's is, but I'm sure with a bit of practice, I will get basically up to the standards that Caesar has set in the community, in my opinion. I feel like my outer walls are really, really good, but the ones that are inside the have, I think because they're so low down, um, you don't kind of get the details at the bottom. And that's 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 all it is. But I still think it looks really, really good. And it's going to really help with this African theming because we want Adventure Africa to be, you know, themed, but not over the top, basically. So that's kind of where we're going with this. Um, this all looks really open and feels really open at the moment. Remember, I have ripped all the plants out. There were, you know, there were planting all around here. Um, you know, I've ripped these plants out. I, there are going to be, you know, new trees added, you know, in the larger areas at a later date. I just haven't done it now because I'm doing the habs first. You know, it, it's always good to kind of build certain areas out and then fill these gaps in at a later date. Like, as you can see up here, I've put the planting in because... I know where everything's going to go now, basically. So, basically, let's get into this. Let me talk to you about the warthogs and what I've done, basically, what I've changed. So, the big thing is that the warthogs used to finish about here, believe it or not. And we have ha added this section um, over here at the back. We've ripped the wall down at the back of the um, Aardvark and Meerkat hab. Um, there used to be a little sleeping thing there, as, I, as you can see. I have kept it just in case I'm, you know, can reuse it uh, at a later date. Um, we ripped that back wall down. We've opened it all up because I wanted to give this vision from certain points, uh, uh, you know, so that you can see numerous animals. It may appear that they're in the same hab, but actually the warthogs are being kept separate to the meerkats and the aardvarks. And it just gives this really cool look. It's a really fun little idea. And it actually works really, really well. I've got an aardvark. I've got a meerkat. And I kind of, you know, put them in this section because I wanted to see kind of how it looks. And it has worked super, super well. The other thing to note is that all the plantings um, all been changed. Um, 
We've even got a little seating area in here now, which is completely new. Um, we've got new planters. I've changed all that up. You really tidied this up as well. Got our seating all sorted. This plant in here isn't finished because obviously I want to bring this wall design all the way up to whatever building we have over here. But I have kind of got this idea in mind that I'm going to go with quite heavy ivies and you know big bushes and whatnot. We're going to build it all up over the walls and things like that, and we're going to make that look really, really nice. Um, I'll kind of show you what we're working with at the minute that sort of thing um i was kind of looking at london zoo i, I always look at others at zoos in real life for plants and planting because i'm you know i'm i'm no uh i'm no uh gardener i'm no, i'm no botanist i'm you know i'm not you know that great at that sort of thing i'm still learning um and uh, i did see this this design uh, near the wild dogs where there's this high fence obviously because the giraffe on the other side and um then there's this kind of low planter in front of it and it's really heavy um you know on the plants and stuff and i thought that that would be a really cool idea to do here because we're kind of trying to disguise the fact that there is kind of a back lot area this is all changed obviously this is like a new design that i'm that i'm kind of playing around with at the moment for the fence and uh, the fence has been pulled really far forward um it used to be all the way back here but i've actually pulled it forward i thought that um it kind of made sense to do so and then i think that that way we might even free up a bit of room should we need it um uh you know in case uh you know you know whatever animal we choose to put in here will need a whole new back lot as you can see this back lot is kind of still as it was we've kind of upgraded this a little we've done a lot of work on this and as you can see there's no plants or ever done back here reason for that again being that i'm just not finished with this area i need to get all of this done first before we crack on with that but uh yeah let me show you the surrounding area because i think that it's really pretty now um i changed all the stairs up um i've changed the color as well you probably won't be able to see this but you can see that gray is just slightly different this, this gray just works nicer with this kind of sandy tone that i'm going with on uh, a lot of the stuff and the wood wood tones that i'm using so yeah, we reworked all the steps because we've got these new kind of planters in the middle and then we kind of got these new walls uh, placed in. And like I was saying, that limestone piece is really becoming a firm favourite of mine and I think it works really well in this area as well, uh, along with the woods, the plants and stuff. Um, I just think the tones are lovely. So yeah, as you can see, we've got these planters. You go up the steps, gang. We've got one of these uh, you know, one of these uh, planters in as well. These are actually a bit more heavy duty. They're a lot higher than the ones in the uh, other part of the zoo. But at the same time, still think they're really, really pretty. And, uh, you know, trying to go with some plants that could work maybe in the UK as well as kind of being a bit more kind of themed for the area as well. So we are trying to change that up a little um, because I think that's really, really important. As you can see, plenty of seating. Um, the info boards are not all done. The ones that I've got, um, as you can see, they are done um and then uh, yeah it's all really really tidy all around here i'll show you the warthogs in a moment but yeah if we continue going around this way remember this area up here is slightly higher that's the whole point of the steps basically there um so this is a bit higher up here and when you come around this now because obviously we've got this really kind of heavy theme in on the rock so yeah that's kind of my attempt at it I would love it if Caesar, if you do watch the video, let me know what you think, how you think I've got on, buddy. I would really appreciate it because I just don't know. I, I really don't know. I love it, but at the same time, I just feel like there's there was a way that maybe uh, other people are just getting more detail in theirs. I don't know. Um, there's lots of rotation. We've got bits that are this way up. We've got them rotated upside down to get this detail at the bottom. It's uh, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of pieces, gang. But um, you get a beautiful, a really beautiful looking thing, I do have to say. Um, so, yeah, if we come around this way, this is new, this plant. Now, there used to just be like a little education thing in here. But we've got this plant. Uh, we've got this tree. This is actually two of the same tree doubled up, rotated. And then you just get this. Um, it just, it basically it's just a bit denser and i just love the way it turned out um got this planter in and then we got this little seated area this is new this wasn't here before this was lit all full up with just plants last time like trees and heavy like grasses and whatnot and i just thought why don't we use the area a bit better um you know what in zoos there's these little pit stops these little like seated areas all over the place and i don't think i had nearly enough of this stuff and so i decided to uh you know just change this up a little bit we've got this little planter in the middle it's essentially disguising like a 
bit of an ugly um, a piece there because of the path. Um, and then as you can see, we've got this nice trim on the edge as well, just to kind of keep this nice and neat. Um, and then we've gone with this little mulch design with a couple of benches. Been at the back, as you can see, it is a bit all over the place as well because it does kind of fall off in this this direction. And then you kind of got this nice kind of like little grassed planted area uh, here with, uh, you know, a couple of trees and whatnot. But just it gives you that real lovely natural kind of shade. Like imagine sitting there and, you know, just kind of enjoying the warthogs and whatnot and even getting a little view of the meerkats and stuff uh, over there i've got to say as well something that you might see that i've really noticed is just how beautiful the restaurant looks now with all of the new theming and i think that actually we might have to repurpose it because honestly trust me there's going to be a couple of viewpoints you're going to see that restaurant and you're going to go wow like look at that look at it from here it looks gorgeous now all of a sudden and i just i don't know why <laughs> i really don't know why but all of a sudden it just looks lovely um so you know what while we're here this is one of the uh viewing areas for the warthogs gang um this is kind of like their kind of pool their kind of rivery pool system now uh that we've got over here this is brand new all of this bit this is completely bland, brand new uh up this end i had to completely redesign it as you can see been working with those rocks as well i've uh, done these bits that are like higher up and then put the plants on them because then the warthogs can't get at the plants because they would just dig them up and stuff as uh, we know i was using this kind of wood design before but i wanted to try to do something a bit different rather than overdoing it with this wood and whatnot so i've gone with these kind of higher sections um you are going to see some bits where you can actually see the fence and whatnot but the planting isn't finished back there i think once the planting goes in it'll really disguise it especially with the colors that i've i've gone with but again look at that view of the restaurant doesn't it look it just looks gorgeous all of a sudden doesn't it it just i don't know what it is about it but it looks stunning all of a sudden i'm definitely going to have to take a look at that and maybe try and rework it i don't know maybe we could use some different pieces or whatnot um but yeah this is kind of um uh, a good look at the warthogs up this end i feel like maybe i still need a bit more detail maybe up the back maybe a bit more wood maybe a few little sprigs of you know grass as you can see like the bits that are kind of clinging on um to the edge um i think maybe we need a bit more of that i think once we add all the planting in the background as well because i haven't added all of them i think we maybe do need another tree in the middle there um but yeah i think once once that have behind it is done then i'll be able to complete all the planting and it might feel a bit more complete but um it really does look uh gorgeous though from this viewing area in, in my opinion it really really does um if we just go quickly go down this way because we are up here i've left the um so i've reworked this over here as well so we've still got this little a uh, few steps down and the little ramp uh but we've also got these steps that we've kind of always had but as you can see i've re completely reworked them because we've now got this wall uh, here we've got these really big bushes that grow over the top and i think that looks really pretty as well but the the wall kind of wraps and works with the path i'm probably going to rip this out and redo it um probably different shades or different tones or i don't know i'm but i'm definitely going to be redoing all this i've just left what was there in for now uh, and then that comes around and then as you can see we've just gone with these a lot more kind of basic glass viewing areas and the reason i've done that is because that's kind of how it is in real life um my, the ones i had in here before were um maybe a little bit over the top um this is obviously by no means finished gang it's very much a work in progress um this is probably what i'm going to be moving on to next um um because i have sort of semi started working on it i had to I basically had to work on this side while I was working on the warthogs because I had to make sure that the view of the warthogs was uh, good enough and it was going to work basically. So yeah, that's essentially where we're kind of at with uh, this. As you can see, we're going, going with this theme wall still. Um, again, a bit more kind of like heavy planting in here and uh, 
you know, adding some rocks and whatnot and some wood and then getting the planting in. We don't really have to worry too much about the planting in this side like we do with the warthogs, but I'm probably not going to go too heavy on the planting this time because the more I look at meerkat habs, the planting just isn't really there, gang. It's just heavy sands and kind of climbing, uh, you know, frames made out of wood and rock formations and things like that. So, yeah, we're probably going to rein it in a little, but I have you've got to add something because otherwise it just looks a bit empty um but yeah uh building all the plants up and then you kind of get a view from here of the warthogs but you do unfortunately see the little barrier that kind of separates the two animals but that is it is what it is but um yeah if we were to come round this way and kind of look from here though that's the view you get and I think that's a pretty cool view, wouldn't you all agree? Um, you know, at the end of the day, you can see the warthogs over in the distance, and they do come all the way round, you know, to, so you can see them a bit closer, and you can kind of, uh, you get this view of the aardvarks and the meerkats because they come through the tunnel, and they kind of come over this side um, as well. well. I've managed to kind of make a bit more kind of walkable area as well. I've made the ramp a bit more... Um, a bit more kind of uh gentle and a bit more realistic it's not as deep anymore um but because i'm using the planet zoo plus mod i can get away with um doing these um tunnels um pretty pretty small at the end of the day so this isn't complete uh i basically need to keep working this uh this rock for formation kind of around here um but yeah once we've kind of got that done and dusted that's kind of the look we're going with and it does look a lot better than it looked before there's a lot more like i say a lot more walkable area kind of over here and one of the big reasons i've done that is because we are going to be reducing the amount of room they actually have over in this side because it's just too big um it, at the minute it's it's far too large so we're probably going to be pulling uh, the building forward quite significantly and then over on this side where the aardvark is that this uh, viewing area here is actually going to be an indoor it's going to be joined up to this now and it's actually going to be more of a, a purpose-built indoor room um, because you have to think about the colder months and uh, stuff like that so yeah we're probably going to be changing that up quite heavily but um, yeah this is going to probably kind of follow suit with this over here to be honest with you and this so um all of these walls but you know i think these walls look how much better they look than kind of the design we had before and even the even the windows everything just looks cleaner doesn't it it looks a lot more delicate and um i don't know i just i just absolutely love i am I'm absolutely loving this project and all the rebuilds we're doing um as you can see we do have like a little drainage system back here for when where the uh kind of water comes to an end and we've got these little hatches that can get in there if we need to this is all kind of fenced off separately um there is a gate here but we're probably going to run a fence probably down this way across and then we're going to have another uh, gate there and then run that and then in front of that we'll probably go quite heavy on the planting to be honest with you i have had to read all the path i'm really worried that all the path under here is a complete mess because i had to rip all this path out to redo this and to be honest with you i probably should have worked on this side at the same time because i kind of get the feeling i'm probably gonna have to rip that path out again and i'm just gonna end up with a load of problems to be honest with you but that is what it is. That's just the nature of the nature of the beast when you're redoing things, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan back there. But um, yeah, as far as the um, warthogs are concerned, um, their little back lot is very similar. I've redone these sheds. Um, I ripped the other one apart. It was awful, and I've redone these sheds. So I need to go all over the zoo and kind of replace wherever those sheds are with these ones i think this one looks a lot better and then as you can see redone all of the fences all the gates um all the doors all the roofs uh is really different now we've put a wooden roof on this um uh instead and we've got all of the bits and bobs all just done a lot more professionally it looks really really nice now um and then yeah we've kind of got all of the roof designs very different all the windows everything i've ch completely changed the design of uh the building as well and i'm absolutely in love with it it's so much nicer um but yeah just love this little back lot area and the fact that it's all fenced off and whatnot as well i just think it's a really really nice touch and then if you come round this side we do have this little 
um, outdoor area for the warthogs as well. Should we ever need to use it, need to separate animals or whatnot, you kind of got this little area. So there's the kind of main gate that you can use, get vehicles up to, and there's a smaller gate there. And then as you can see, we've completely reworked that building. We've got these big old windows on the back now and ventilation and whatnot. Reworked all absolutely everything. Like I've completely ripped it apart and rebuilt it, gang. Even down to this little lean-to thing, that's been completely rebuilt. Um, and that needs to be another thing that I need to go all over the zoo and replace. Um, as you can see, the planting is the big thing. That's that's not complete. That's going to be done once this is done. Because then once this is done, I'll know what area needs kind of replanting, basically. Um, so that's going to be one of the big things that I'm going to have to do at some point. Using the decals again, just to kind of keep that overlap going, that messiness and whatnot that I am absolutely in love with at the minute. As you can see, like I've even been doing it kind of over, over here. Um, but yeah, let me dive on into the building. So we've got a slightly bigger door this side to the other side but um yeah we're kind of just continuing on with the with the same old theme really that we've been working with in adding all these like really vital details inside the buildings as well um and just you know it's a lot of rinse and repeat gang i am heading back to areas i've already done and kind of stealing the the you know like the the cabinets and whatnot and then adding new pieces to them just you know throwing all these little bits and bobs um you know into the into the build basically and just kind of trying to bring it to life um you know a bit more basically uh again keeping that kind of design going with the tiles and we've got these um got the hoses and whatnot over there and then it is a bit different this one i kind of using a very similar design to what we did with the camels and the horses but changed it up slightly as well because obviously they're a slightly smaller animal um and uh you know i just wanted to kind of change the, the gates up and whatnot so yeah we've got a very very different gate and then because of the way this was i kind of just filled this area kind of with this uh with this little design uh and i'm absolutely loving that um but the windows all look amazing as well and then when you come inside this used to just be open this uh this bit in here but i've left the roof completely on the inside because i actually think it looked quite nice um i don't think there's much wrong with it i really like the lighting i like the fact that i used those gutter inners to re kind of represent like electrical wires and things like that um i just changed these windows up because they were awful before so i've changed them up um and then the big thing that i did was i just added this kind of little separate section now it is pretty small but it would literally just be used for, for you know emergencies really you know uh, that sort of thing a lot of the warthog stuff that i would manage to find it were very much just kind of open stables they weren't really separated you know like um camels and things like that are um it was it was um you know very much shared their indoor but they always had kind of had something like this um you know to separate the animals if they need to um so yeah it's not really kind of that large but you would open the gates up um to the outside and then they would kind of have the run out there as well so that's kind of uh, what's going on there. And then the other big thing we did was we, you know, changed the door up as well. That really needed to be done. And we kind of got this really nice, like, sliding door system now. Um, all done a lot better. Looks a lot more uh, professional, a lot prettier. Uh, and then if you're kind of taking a look at the building, um, I got rid of all the mud walls and I've just really worked this wood along with this so there's lots of different types of like slate and uh you know wood on this and i just think it looks a lot lot nicer uh, i really really do i just think it looks a lot more kind of professional and then if you want to take a better look at the uh, warthog hab and kind of uh from more on their level this is kind of what it looks like that wooden wall that we had before i completely reworked it and i think we can all agree this just looks a lot better the other one was literally it was just the same tones whereas this there's lots of lots of stuff going on and i think it looks great to be honest with you um when you when you can see like when there's a tree put in and whatnot you can really see the way that um, frames the hab and I think that's why the planting really does need to be finished um, at some point um, but yeah if I was to flip this around we do have a high level up here and we do have that low run but you can kind of see the way the, the rocks have all kind of been worked um, around 
the hab. I've even gone with like a secondary fence as well, kind of preventing the animals from, from going up onto that level. And then we've got this bit um, where the planting goes really, really dense and really heavy. And that's the part where there's like kind of no viewing. Um, and then that, that wraps around, as you can see, um, with this little centerpiece as well that's got um, some planting in it. And then that wraps around, as it always did, gang. It kind of comes around this corner, doesn't it? And then it comes to a second kind of um, uh, mud wallow. Um, and then that's when it goes up a level ever so slightly, kind of up to here. And then that's where our little water system is. And then if you come over here, you can kind of see where the aardvarks and the meerkats are. There is a little fence there to kind of prevent animals from crossing over and whatnot. I probably need to just carry it on a little bit there um, to be honest and then I probably need to put a little bit on the end there as well just for the kind of realism um, but they can obviously come up the back here as well I just need to level all that out um, they can get in the plants up here of course they can typical isn't it eh? <laughs> there's me making these designs so that they can't get in there and then they end up getting in there anyway um, but yeah as you can see it just looks so cool with all the animals as well um, in the uh, in the hab, and you'll get to see them all rummaging around and running about in the uh, in the cinematic gang. But yeah, there's not really too much else to kind of show you. That's the new warthog area, though, in Tropical Wing Zoo, and we now get to talk a little bit about what we're going to do next in Adventure Africa. And my next plan in Adventure Africa is to simply crack on with the aardvark and meerkat habitat. I think that now that um, I've done the um, the warthogs, it kind of makes sense to work on these guys. And then obviously it gives me a bit more time as well to think about what I'm going to do over here. But I'm so 50-50 at what I want to do. There's no point in me diving in and building something over here um, right now because I could start building and then regret building that and then want to build something else. It's just better if we leave it for now and we, you know, we carry on uh you know just working over here basically i think that's going to be the best thing to do um right now um and i think that just makes perfect sense as well to carry on uh in kind of that direction so this side is almost done to be honest with you it just needs the planting and you know the wood and all the bits and bobs added this side needs to be completely kind of ripped apart and redone um and yeah that's that's the that's the hardest part to be honest with you it's kind of ripping ripping apart what you've already built um i'm really not sure about the building and what sort of design i'm going to do I'm, I'm actually considering doing something really similar to the warthogs because i really like that design i really like the way it looks um if i don't do that then i did see Goran's what a live stream Goran was doing recently where he took a plaster piece and then he was overlaying it with the de the mud decals um and then you know working some other stuff in there and it got a, it got this lovely uh look to it really unique look to it my only worry about that is the amount of pieces you would have to use to kind of cover an entire building but um you know maybe I'll go with that wood design we'll kind of go from there but yeah that's kind of what I'm going to be doing next and then after that um, you know, I, I probably will work on this after that because then I can get this this corner of the zoo finished, uh, or at least this corner of Adventure Africa finished, um, and then I can move on up this way. And the restaurant is the big one because I keep looking at it in the distance, and I want to salvage it now. I really do want to salvage it. The big problem with this restaurant, it's the inside, and I think maybe that's the biggest issue. It's this ceiling. It's so hard to know what to do with it. That, I think that's more the issue. It's not so much what it looks like on the outside. I actually don't mind it. I think it looks pretty nice. But it's what it looks like when you dive on in. That's the issue. So, yeah, there's a fair bit of work maybe to be done where that's concerned. But, uh, yeah, next time, it's all about those meerkats and the aardvarks. And so there you have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of Tropical Wing Zoo. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you make of the new warthog habitat in the comment section below. Like I say, there is a little bit of background stuff that still needs doing. But once that's done, I think that that will look absolutely amazing. Um, 
look forward to next episode. I'm hoping it will be out next week sometime because I'm really trying to find, I've really found a nice flow at the moment where Planet Zoo is concerned. Um, you know, we've got the new Community Zoo series starting as well and they're going to really work really nicely. Um, essentially, gang, I've just decided to just knock stuff on the head that I'm not enjoying and instead uh, focus on the stuff I am. And at the minute, Tropical Wings is what I'm absolutely loving. So my friends, until next time, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, but until then, stay safe, stay humble. I'll see you all real, real soon.